Can anyone stop freaking Gogeta? <laughs> Yo, up, guys, it's your boy son TJ here. Today we're gonna talk about Super Drama Heroes Big Bang Mission Episode 17. Um, honestly, it's like it's a lot of episodes of Super Drama Heroes right now. Actually, if I had like to count how many episodes we legit got, um, let's see here. Because I think the last time I did this review, we was on episode 37. So technically, this is like episode 38 of all of Super Drama Heroes. In the last episode, we was hyping up Perfected Ultra Instinct Goku and Evil Blue or Super Saiyan Blue Berserker Controlled Vegeta versus Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black. This is the ultimate fan fiction stuff ever, people. <laughs> and yeah, we get this episode. And this episode was delayed, I think about like two months or something. Like this thing should have came out a long time ago. And they pretty much rushed everything. And you know the usual. Um, they had to do the Yamamoro, like, oh my god, you see an image of our main character's legs, and then the characters powering up in the background. And then you had like four different different cameos that had nothing to do with the episode. And then you get either a new transformation, a new fusion. And either they lose instantly or they win instantly and we have some type of cliffhanger at the end. <laughs> and I gotta say at this point, what was the whole point of having Vegito Blue Kyle Ken struggle in the anime against Cumber and then get, 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 get defused in a beam class against Golden Cumber where in the manga Vegito Blue Kyle Ken was actually dominating and then he only defused because of the power he used in that class? Like, what was the whole point of making Vegito look that bad? And then later on when you bring Vegito back in Vegito Blue, regular Blue, he does better against an empowered few and looks good compared to um, Super Saiyan 4, um, uh, Super Saiyan 4 Limit Breaker Vegito, uh, Zeno, <laughs> and he's able to compare with that Vegito. So it's like, what's the point of making Blue Kyle Ken look bad uh, with Vegito in the anime when you're going to have Gogeta come in with either Super Saiyan Blue Evolved, or I'm guessing this might be like a pure form of Super Saiyan Blue Controlled Berserker or something, because his hair color doesn't get darker. And we've seen Super Saiyan Blue Evolved in the anime, and it, it has a darker hair, but for this review, I'm just gonna call it Super Saiyan Blue Evolved, even though the hair color didn't get darker, but I don't know, it's kind of confusing, because it, you can't even really say that that's like control blue because the I don't know like the aura doesn't look the same either so it's like I don't know and people are trying to say that this might be a fusion of ultra instinct and blue <clears throat> blue controlled berserker but I don't know again it's hard saying all these names because super drama heroes love having these names be 10 times longer like it makes me appreciate super saiyan guy super saiyan <laughs> so yeah we, we start this episode where UI Goku and like in their fight that was hyped up in the last episode literally ends in the first literally a minute like goku loses perfected ui in 48 seconds <laughs> it was like what was the whole point of them saying like you mastered your abilities if it's just gonna be gone instantly again i'm watching this without any subtitles so it looks like um, Goku Black absorbs the energy of perfected UI, but it's like we don't get to see any of it. But granted, this, like, if you're talking about wrestling, this saves um, perfected UI from losing in some way because, as you can see with Goku Black, he does have no eyebrows when he's in Super Saiyan Rose A3. Like, this is a thing, but he absorbs the energy of perfected UI Goku and he gets this, like, full power Super Saiyan Rose 3 where he gains back his freaking eyebrow. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What is this? And uh, he gains a tail. I don't know if he had a tail before. I don't remember him having a tail. Like, I can try to look, <laughs> look at the history books while I'm covering this, but it's like, yeah, he didn't have a tail before. That is, that is mad interesting. Uh, then we see him proceed to one shot Super Saiyan Blue, I'm just gonna call him Evil Blue Vegeta for um, no reason in particular. We just gotta fill in our quota of dissing Vegeta. It's like they didn't want to do that to perfect the UI Goku, but they definitely wanted to show 
evil blue Vegeta get one shot. <laughs> then we see um, golden, we see golden Frieza and golden Mecha Cooler come in just for Omega Shinron to knock them to the side. <laughs> and then we see Super Saiyan 3 Cumber come in fight Omega Shinron. Did we never see that again, by the way? Um, then we see Hearts coming in with his like little pimp jacket. <laughs> And Goku um, to proceeds to like like suggest fusion. Then then Golden uh, Golden Metal Cooler and Golden Frieza come in to get beat down by Super Saiyan Rose three full power <laughs> Goku Black. Then we don't even get to see the fusion of Goku and Vegeta. We just see Gogeta Blue come in with weird animation and proceeds to give <laughs> Go uh, Goku Black. Uh, a, like a freaking bruise in his eye just showing that I don't know man like, again I know power scaling doesn't matter especially in the anime's version power scaling kind of matters in the manga's interpretation they have a little bit more consistent power scaling a little bit I guess but then we see Gogeta just you know kind of beats down Rose 3 Goku Black and then he transforms and like he does like a kind of like a a cool like almost Kamehameha stance then he turns into I'm assuming Blue evolved Gogeta, except his hair doesn't get any darker, and he has like this weird, like golden, like kind of aura, kind of silver, silver, silverly golden aura around him while he's doing it. So we could assume that it's Blue evolved, especially in that promotional art where it looked like it's just straight up Blue evolved because he has like the little strain and you can see the veins and stuff. So yeah, we're just gonna assume this is Blue evolved Gogeta, and he makes this. Look, so cool. Like, if this is Blue Evolved, this is the coolest Blue Evolved looks, and this is his Super Dragon Ball Hero. <laughs> um, we might get an official name, but that's what I think it is. And, the, and like, the aura itself, it, it, it works just like Blue Evolved. I'm just kind of confused by this golden silver aura around it. So it might be UIS, but then he proceeds to, like, one-shot. <laughs> well, not one-shot. He just punches... Uh, Goku Black Rose 3 full power out of existence and he fades out and then we speed rush in because we see like hearts in his four or whatever then we see Cumber win his battle and then Goku teleports to this, you know the living tree then we see baby few so yeah um, it's like five different storylines in all this episode <laughs> um all I gotta say is, bro, they didn't have to do my boy Vegito like that way back, you know, like two years ago when he fought um, Hearts. I'm not Hearts, fought Base Cumber, and then they forced Cumber to go his strongest form, Goto Zaru, and then they tried to make it seem like, oh my god, Vegito only lost because he defused. Um, Gogeta keeps winning the same way he, he keeps winning in Heroes. He just keeps hitting motherfuckers in their in they face, <laughs> and they die. Like, that's what he did to, like, golden super hearts he hits him in the face he dies and here he hits super saiyan rose 3 goku black full power hits him in the face he dies <laughs> um again I, i'm not expecting too much from super drama here it's a promotional anime don't take it i'm taking it that seriously it's just again it's just kind of hilarious because i thought we was going to get some cool stuff with perfected ui goku and evil blue vegeta and they rushed through that <laughs> in the first like 30 seconds and Goku loses perfected UI because I'm assuming Cumber, I mean that Cumber, Goku Black absorbed his powers to get that. And for some reason, Goku Black has a tail now that gives him back his eyebrows. Even though in GT, Goku had his tail and with Super Saiyan 3 had no eyebrows. And my friends told me, is, is Ultra Ego Vegeta going to get perfected Ultra Ego and he's going to have his eyebrows back? The entire concept of losing your eyebrows, the getting your eyebrows back, is hilarious to me. Um, but yeah, man, tell what you guys think about this episode. Um, they delayed it. I thought I was going to get some, like, oh, maybe we might get some Shida or Takahashi. Or, I don't know, something like that. But we didn't get none of that. I think it was still pretty cool how Gogeta Blue evolved. If that is Gogeta Blue evolved, make that form look super cool. But, bro... Give my give my nigga Vegito like something cool, man. Like give him Vegito, like give him Blue Kyle Ken again, but let him like just dominate like he did in this episode. Like y'all doing Vegito kind of dirty. Like I've kind of accepted that Gogeta is pretty much the Goku of the fusions, and Vegito is literally the Vegito of the fusions at this point. And Vegito just gonna be better in the video games. <laughs> That's about it. But hey, man, I don't know. Like give my brother Vegito some shine, man. 
But yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the review, man. Um, again, for uh, Dragon Ball Super standards, I'll give this episode like a seven, a seven or eight. But in terms of like overall standards, it's like a three. <laughs> So yeah, man, hope you guys check out my review over the last Drum of Super Spoilers. There's still people mad that I called them out because they keep thinking that, yeah, Blue Vegeta stops UI Goku because this is or that. But then you see Blue Goku like make full power double shard on Granola Bleed. They're like, it doesn't count now. So yeah, Vegeta, Vegeta fans, especially toxic ones, y'all can go, y'all can go like, you know, <laughs> y'all can go be salty. And I'll be mad at my opinion. So, hope you guys enjoyed the review. Sun to job, peace. Love you all.